All women are babes. All women are babes. I, women are the greatest. They're the greatest. Some women are just, uh, they get confused and they need to be drawn back into the fold. Mm. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome to Bitch Talk. I'm your host, Erin. And I'm co-host Ange, aka Captain Party. And for more than 10 years, this show has celebrated underrepresented voices in pop culture and beyond. But not in a snore kind of way. And that's why our listeners and followers voted us 48 Hills Best of the Bay Best Podcast in 2022 and 2023. Correct. And we're pushing for that 2024, (laughs) y'all. If you like what you hear, follow us on Instagram and check out our website, bitchtalkpodcast.com. And please rate us wherever you listen to podcasts. Honestly, we know you love judging people. We're asking you, (laughs) judge us. Judge us. Help us. And now, on with the show. Clink. Hey, Bitch Talkers. How are you? We are actually sitting down together, not over Zoom, in real life with real microphones. Hello, Angela. But we're exhausted, so it'd <laughs> yes. probably be better if we were home so I could be in my PJs. Oh, she looks really cute today, though. It's a nice day Stop out it. in San Francisco. The sun's out. I can barely see Carl the Fog in the background. Uh, we're about to head to another <laughs> launch <laughs> of a film festival. <laughs> We are, I mean, we It's are. like Groundhog Day a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's for Frameline, and I think it's the oldest queer f- uh, film festival in the world. I'm saying it now. You can correct me, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, it makes sense. It's in San Francisco. But before we even talk about any of that, because that'll be down the line, um, we just first want to say a big big, big thank you to our fam, our friends, our listeners who showed up to see the first San Francisco screening of Gasoline Rainbow, the movie Ange and I make a little cameo in. It was such a fun night at the Roxy on a Friday night, and uh, it was really special. I'm glad we were able to do it. The theater was nicely filled with a lot of familiar faces and a lot of non-familiar faces, which was really cool. And then, of course, the after party at Case Mints did not disappoint. No. I mean, <laughs> shout out to Jillian and the staff and Sean um, and all the bartenders rocking it. It was very busy. She told us it was going to be a busy night. I haven't gone out in the mission uh, on a Friday night for a very long time. So mm-hmm. she wasn't kidding. I, I was not pr- really mentally prepared for it. But um, she really treated us and uh, our folks really well. And uh, shout out to them. So thank you so much for taking care of us. And shout out to Tom, Tom McGovern, the uh, jack of all trades, I think, or Mr. Everything, they called him on uh, on Gasoline Rainbow. He sounds like someone, that name is like someone who'd be running for office. <laughs> he <laughs> probably hates that. Vote for Tom McGovern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, Tom. Um but thank you. And his his parents who have showed up to every screening that we're at and then the screenings we're not at, they went to the Venice Film Festival last year where Gasoline Rainbow premiered. And they just, they're, they're real ones, as the kids say. His dad was best dressed of the oh, night. Oh, yeah. He was wearing a gold Sequin. line, sequined coat yes. that he wore in Venice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he showed us all up. So props to everyone again who showed out and showed up. It was really fun and magical and uh, it couldn't have been any better. So that was fun. And there's still time to go watch it out in the theaters. It will be streaming on Mubi, the platform Mubi, uh, by the end of May, beginning of June-ish. But go out and see it in the theaters. It's really important. And also, it's a really beautiful movie to be seeing on the Mm -hmm. big screen. Agreed. So check it out. It's a movie about kids having one last hurrah before they have to become adults. Very relatable. And the cool thing was, everybody at the bar that I was talking to had stories that watching the film kind of reminded them of. So that was fun. We were all kind of sitting around a table reminiscing about Same. our tomfoolery as young kids. Yes. Young adults. <laughs> also that um, we did not take a pro- we did not take proper photos. It's fine. I really tried. You really did. There's altogether four different podcasts that were at <laughs> the screening and at no five if you count Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. But we had Sonia from What a Creep podcast was there with her sister, and they had some fun stuff to talk about the movie because Sonia was like, that was not my childhood, but it was her sister's childhood, Mm. and her sister has teenagers right now, so it was like very, 
yeah um meta for them and then tracy ramos with booze nation podcast was there totally showing up and showing out mm-hmm. she even made little reels on instagram for us oh cute she posted about it and then we had Aisha there from Pop Culture Happy Hour that runs on NPR, who was there and got to see the movie. She, We did not know this, I don't think, before we talked to her about it, that she's a fan of Bloody Nose, Empty Pockets, too. Mm-hmm. So um, she enjoyed the film as well. So I don't know. That was kind of fun having a bunch of podcasters there, too. So shout out again, Gasoline Rainbow, Ross Brothers, our homies. Um, what a fun ride. Watch the movie and also listen to our interview with them because yeah. it will give you a lot of insight into, <laughs> into how, them. how they film the movie and mm-hmm. how the hell we became part of it. Yeah, that was 800, episode 800. Okay, so now this is 801. We're jumping back to South By because actually this is the last South By that's going to be running. Officially. officially. Um, it's the red carpet for the film Babes that uh, I think is out in select theaters as of May 17th, but then May 24th, later this week, it's opening wide. And uh, <laughs> it's opening real wide, real wide, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's Alana Glazer, it's Michelle Buteau, it's directed by someone that we love. And we're so, we're happy that we at least got to ask her one or two questions in real life. Ish. Pamela Adlon. Um, I'm going to tell you, Bitch Talk listeners, we have been trying our damnedest to get uh, actual interviews with anyone from the film, not just the red carpet, and it just didn't happen. I think uh, the reason erin has been trying so hard for this interview is because she kind of got a little choked up at the red carpet and, did. and she couldn't speak when Pamela Adlon came I couldn't. Up I just, I have so much to talk with her about. It's not easy on a red carpet. You'll, to you'll just, hear it. Yeah, dude, I lost my chance. No, she'll uh, be back on. She'll be on. She'll be on one day when the timing is, is right, when the stars align. Yes. But uh, in the meantime, <laughs> this is a really funny I don't even want to say what happens, but no. we we had some mic drop moments, um, particularly from Michelle Buteau. I that left us look, just speechless. <laughs> she's in like my top ten, top five comedians. Mm-hmm. I already loved her before, and then she came. She came on her. She came on our mic, and just she's hilarious. Um, also, the movie Babes is we loved it. I've been seeing yeah. some interesting reviews about it. Not since Joyride have sure. I laughed out loud yes. as much and also related so much to what was happening. Yeah. And it's kind of a controversial story right now in the world Fucking that we live in. If you Sadly. Know, you just happen to get pregnant and don't know what to do with that. So, um, but it's not, I mean, it's serious, but it's not serious. But there were, la- I mean, there was one, Ange knows, one scene that all of us were laughing way too hard at. And it was really kind of a dark scene. Yeah, it was a dark line. Yeah. But it was just, it hit close to home. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, listen to our red carpet. Please go out and see Babes in the theaters. It's enjoyable. It's so good. But we should also say we did this red carpet prior to watching the film. Yes. I, I mean, now I would have said 10 million different things, but um it was, nonetheless, it was really fun red carpet. But now that we've watched the film, we have that's why we hours. wanted more interviews. Yeah, so hoping Anyways. it happens one day. I'm annoying, and I will keep trying. <laughs> that's how it normally happens. <laughs> so enjoy this red carpet. Go out and see Babes and Gasoline Rainbow if you can, and uh, support film, y'all. Peace. Babes covering Babes outside the Paramount Theater yes. on a beautiful Austin Eve. I'm freezing. I don't know what you're talking about. Our it's Planned cold. Parenthood beanies are on. Our nipples are out. Let's get this going. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, well, we're called Bitch Talk, so welcome. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Can you tell our audience your name and your role on this film? Yes, my name is Josh Rabinowitz, and I'm a co-writer and producer, and I also play a waiter in one scene. Oh, <laughs> okay, awesome. We'll be looking out for that. Yeah, um, but so we haven't watched this film as of yet. I can't okay. wait to see it. Okay, but uh, from what I know, it's about a woman who gets pregnant after a one-night stand. Yes. So am I right in assuming this is a horror slash thriller? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's a. It's a very very scary. A lot of uh, slow pans and whip pans. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. It, 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 within the uh, emotion of that, certainly. But it, it is a you know a hard comedy with with big feelings and a lot of heart. We really wanted to create something that you know we miss these comedies of like the 90s and 2000s that could be so absurd and silly and like Alana and Michelle are like generally two of the funniest people like they make me laugh in every take they do but then also have something that can hit you with that heart and ground that heart and so with Pamela at the helm of that it's just been uh, been a really lucky situation. 
Well, I was going to say, you, you're basically making a controversial film in 2024. It's about a one-night stand. Oh, my God. And, and, <laughs> and, and she gets pregnant. I mean, sure. time. I know. No, I mean, it, it's interesting. Like, And it's interesting how things change so quickly. Like, you know, movies take several years to make. And I feel, you know, fortunate that the movie feels like it resonates more and more with time as opposed to, you know, things that you write three years ago and things change so quick. So... Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I'm, I'm excited for all of those things as well. To like, you know, uh, I think the characters really, you know, lean into any of those things and are just really authentic, relatable people. Yeah. Push those buttons. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you very Thanks much. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. We're Bitch Talk Podcast. How are you? Welcome. Hi. 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 Bitch. Thank you. We got to talk to Josh just a little bit ago. And I asked him, I'm going to ask you the same question. Um, you have written one of the most controversial films of 2024, uh, One Night Stand. Oh, my God. A woman gets pregnant. Oh, my God. What's she going to do? How do you feel about that? doesn't feel controversial to me. It feels totally <laughs> normal, like something that any person, any femme, any female-bodied person should have the uh, right and freedom and safety to do. It doesn't feel controversial to me at all. Correct. Hi, family. Years for you. You're Wait, but first, bitch. first we have to be number, ready. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, now we can begin. <laughs> We're so excited to see you tonight. We also saw you in the world according to Ali Willis, yes. and it was just 15-year-old Pamela was incredible. Yes. Oh my God, they have old footage of me. Yes. And that I've seen as an art assistant. I don't know what you were assisting. It's crazy. <laughs> I was carrying paint cans. <laughs> Yeah, I you're mean, the, hella cute. She was so she was so dear to me. I still can't believe she's gone. She was my heart. My yeah. heart. Well, on the on those lines, what to you makes a woman a babe? All women are babes. All women are babes. I, women are the greatest. They're the greatest. Some women are just uh, they get confused and they need to be drawn back into the fold. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I think we have to let you go. <laughs> I love you. Guys. We love but we love you. Oh, yeah. Yes. We want to have you back on. But take care. Have a great night. Oh, hello, Michelle Hi. Bateau. Thank you for coming on Bitch Talk. You're welcome. I didn't know that's where I was. But now I The do. universe works in mysterious ways. That's what they say when you get your period. <laughs> no comment. I'm on mine. You don't even know that. Uh, are you are you single-handedly bringing back uh, this look, the uh, stirrup pants? Because I'm in. Yes, I am. I'm also <laughs> single-handedly bringing back just no fucking zippers. Yes. I want to sit. Mm -hmm. I want to act like it's a Thanksgiving dinner with sweatpants. That's why I wear jumpers everywhere I go. Yeah, but then you got to, it's like a whole Cirque du Soleil act <laughs> in the bathroom where you're almost peeing on your neck. Correct. Don't think I don't know that life. Your neck is always a little moist. Don't look. Back. Don't look in the stalls. It's I fine. I will never look in the stalls. <laughs> Who's looking at the stalls? I mean, there's some goods there. I don't know. Anyways, my question is... We should move on. <laughs> yeah, we got to move on. Okay. No. What is one trait that would absolutely turn you off from having a one-night stand? Um, God, I've had so many. Let me think. <laughs> Correct. I think if you're... If your dick tastes like red onion. Oh. <laughs> All right. On that note, have a beautiful yeah. evening. Thank you so much, you too. Love you so much. <laughs> Only the best. Only the best. Thanks for joining us on today's show. You can find more information about this episode in our show notes. If you're missing us, you can visit us at bitchtalkpodcast.com to sign up for our newsletter and buy us a cup of coffee. Did you know we're also on the radio? You can find us at BFF.FM. And lastly, rate and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. All the cool bitches are doing it. This podcast is a proud member of the BFF.FM podcast network. Learn more at podcasts.bff.fm. BFF.FM, best frequencies forever.